All right, so this is the private DNS quick toggle app. And in this video, I want to tell you about how to set it up and my experience using it. So this is just going to be like a review and a tutorial for the app. It's a free and open source app and you can get it on GitHub. So I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. And if you tap on the app to open it, it's going to open up your browser and show you how to set it up. So yeah, it shows all the instructions here. So I'm going to open this page on my computer now because to set this app up, you will need your computer to do it. All right, so I am on my PC now. As you can see, this is the same website on my phone. So to get started, first you need to download something. So you click on this link and this page should show up. So you scroll down until you see download SDK platform tools for Windows if you're using a Windows PC. But if you're using a Mac or a Linux, then you can get either of these ones. All right, so I've already downloaded it, but just for this video, I'll download it again. I'll click here, scroll down, and then click here and download. All right, so this is the file that I just downloaded and I'm going to extract it. All right, so after extracting it, open the folder and you should have these files. So we have done half of the work for my PC. Now we can come back to the phone. And the next thing we have to do is to turn on US debugging mode. Now there are different ways to do it depending on the kind of phone you use. I use a Xiaomi phone. This is the Redmi Note 13, I believe. And to enable USB debugging, well, you have to go through settings. So this is settings. I'll tap on settings, then I'll tap my device. And then over here it says OS version. I'm going to keep tapping it until it says you are now a developer. So I'll go back. For your device, you just need to find out how to enable developer options and you should be fine. Uh, I'll go to additional settings and over here I'll tap this. And next I'll scroll until I find USB debugging. This is it. So for most devices, after enabling that option, you should be okay. But as you can see on the website, it says that uh, for Xiaomi and Poco phones, you have to enable USB debugging security options as well. So I'm going to enable that as well. So it is down here, USB debugging. But if you don't use a Xiaomi phone or a Poco phone, then you don't have to enable this. This phone is not a Xiaomi phone, so I didn't have to do it, but I've done it on this phone as well. Like I have installed the app on this phone. So for the Xiaomi phone, you have to enable this one as well. All right, so after enabling USB debugging and USB debugging security settings, if you're using a Xiaomi phone, you can go back. So next, you'll be connecting your phone to your PC. So I have my type C USB cord here. So after connecting the phone to your computer, if this shows up, you can tap OK, but make sure you tap this so that this doesn't keep popping up. So tap OK. On the browser still, you want to copy this command prompt. Just copy it, minimize your browser, and then go into that folder where all those files are. You click on the address bar, type CMD, press enter, and this should show up. Then just paste what you copied by pressing Control V on your keyboard, and then you press enter. So your phone is going to start downloading the app. Um, maybe you can see my internet use over here. It is currently downloading the app. So just wait for like 10 seconds and it should be done downloading the app. I'm not sure it is done yet, so I'm going to tap it to see. Okay, it is done downloading the app. And so what you want to do next is enter your DNS servers. So tap on this plus button down here. For this example, I'm going to use add guard. And then this is where I'm going to enter the DNS server. This is just the DNS name. So dns.addguard. Then I'll tap add. So I have added a DNS server. So what I need to do next is add the button up here so that I can easily activate or deactivate my DNS from here. So I'll tap edit. And if I scroll down, I should see private DNS. So this is it over here. So you can tap on this. It depends on the phone you use, but you should be able to edit your, your quick tiles. So I've added it over here and then I'm going to drag it to the top. Then I'll tap this to enable it. So you can see now that it is blue. So that means I am using um, the AdGuard DNS server. So you see now it says off. 
now it says add guard is on so that's how you use it to quickly turn your dns on or off so we are done with the computer now i can close this and close this all right so now i'm going to give you my overview or a review of this app and the first thing i want to say is that i like that you can add multiple dns servers here you just saw that i added add guard next i'm going to add my favorite dns server which is next dns so next dns so now i can tap here to add and you can see i have two dns servers now so i can even organize how i want them to work by sliding this up and down if you have multiple servers then you can um, arrange them the, one, the way you want um, if you tap on this settings icon at the top right corner you'll see some options i didn't really understand the options when i started using this app and i am still not sure i understand it 100 percent but i'm going to explain what i understand so far so you can see you have four options the first option says only off so if you select this and tap ok it means that um, the only thing you can do here by tapping on this is to turn the service the dns service on or off so you can see now next dns has been turned on if i tap it again it doesn't say anything but add guard has been turned on and if i tap it again um it's the whole dns service has been turned off so that's what the first option does the second option is to also include auto so auto means that um your phone is just going to get the best public dns server that's how i understand it so i'll show you now if i tap here you see it has an a instead of the key lock and if i head over to next dns next dns is saying i'm currently using cisco umbrella as my dns resolver so it means that um, the app or my phone is just getting any publicly available dns server now you can see it is switching between cloud cloudflare and the other one the cisco i don't remember the rest but yeah cisco umbrella so it is just switching between those two to get maybe the best dns service that is publicly available so if i want i can tap this again to turn on next dns and if i turn tap it again it's going to activate add guard all right so next we have off and auto so let's try this out and see what happens okay so it is now turned off uh it is now auto it is now in auto mode and it's basically like the other option as far as i can tell maybe there's something i'm missing i'm not really sure and finally we have the private dns only so it's only going to choose a dns server from the list of servers that you have created so if i tap this see it doesn't turn off doesn't change to auto just it is swapping between next dns and add guard so that's the options over here you can also enable this so that the dns server doesn't change unless you unlock the device so i'll do that now so you can see what i mean so i have to unlock the device before the dns server will change all right so next there's these options over here you can import your settings or export your settings so before i did this tutorial i exported my settings so i'm going to import them now so what i'll do is delete this and delete this as well and then i'll tap here tap import from file i'll scroll down and find the one that i did today and this is it so if i tap it you can see it has brought back the dns servers that i created it's a really good feature that i like so if you have multiple dns servers and you don't want to have to enter them over and over again maybe on your other devices you can quickly export and then import on the other device so to export you tap export and tap um, to file or you can even share from here so that um, if you have uh, you can share maybe via bluetooth and the other phone can quickly accept it the only downside that i found was there's a time that the button was grayed out so i could not activate or deactivate the dns server on my phone i have a video of that and i'm, I'm sure i'm currently showing you even when i long pressed on it to open the app i, mean, I thought that maybe the app stopped running in the background um, the same thing happened i could not activate the dns server or turn it off so i changed the setting by long pressing and going into app info i don't know if this is available on all android devices but it is available on both of my android phones and i made sure that i deactivated this pause app activity if unused so after deactivating this i have not noticed this 
button graying out anymore like it has always been active so i would recommend you do that so that whenever you notice that the app doesn't work then it may be a problem from your phone or the app i'm not really sure uh, but i'll look for more apps like alternative apps that you can use to do the same thing on your android phone and also i would recommend you only use this one if you want to use the dns services that you have provided all right so that's my overview for the app and how to use it if you have questions please let me know and i'll be seeing you in the next one take care and bye bye